Life jacket as well as free floating life rafts in the event of an actual water emergency. See those cranes? Those cranes mark the Long Beach Container Terminal. Container ships come in, they dock underneath those cranes, and they start loading and unloading the vessels. Now those cranes are constructed in foreign countries, and they're brought over here as one giant piece. And one of those cranes costs just $12 million. Those cranes are million dollars? Wow. Minute, or crane operator. The skilled crane operator can move between 30 and 40 containers an hour. There's a wide variety of things that can be in those containers. Cars, trucks, electronics, clothing, or even ship food in specialized refrigerated containers. <laughs> those containers are then put on trucks and trains and they're shipped all over the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. Exactly what happened, just go ahead and follow along with the crew member and we'll make sure that everybody stays safe. Speaking of safety, we also have a few rules today. Please do not run. No, 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 we are going to be doing some rock and rolling. So we just want to make sure that everybody keeps their feet on the deck. Like I said, we do have a snack bar on board. Like a nice ice cold beer, some soda, water, chips, candy, anything else of that nature. Head downstairs and see Stephanie or come by the house and talk to Brendan. They'd love to get you set up. I invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy your 45 minute harbor tour. The area of Waterburn right now is known as Rainbow Harbor. It was dredged out in the 90s for smaller vessels like our own. I just can't. All those dredging oh, can't can't be, yeah. the right. They put that lighthouse there. Huh? The lighthouse was donated to the city of Long Beach by the Long Beach Lions Club. Where well, it's not an actual aid to navigation, but it does glow a rainbow color at night time.
tonight we have the Queen Mary. But before we talk about the Queen Mary, if you look just at her bow or the front of her, you'll see the black conning tower of the Russian spy submarine, the Scorpion. The Scorpion is a 300 foot long Fox Jaw class submarine that was built in the 70s. And it served during the Cold War, flying on the U.S., mostly off of our coast. It was then decommissioned in the 90s and spent three years in Sydney. Off Babu, what you doing now? Drinking Sprite. What? Drinking Sprite? Yeah. Are you getting fun? Sakurita, what you eating now? That's what doesn't. Nothing. 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 Nothing.